Hi, boys and girls. How are you? It's Pastor Bestian here. I sure have missed you guys. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying healthy uh, during this time of the coronavirus. And I know you're kind of stuck at home, but I hope you're having a great time with your family, okay? I just want to spend a, a little time with you just real quick and share God's word with you, okay? I want to talk to you about something I think that's very, very important. And it has to do with the last part of Jesus' life, okay? I'm going to begin by asking you a question, okay? A couple questions, actually. Has anyone ever made fun of you? Or has someone ever said something to you that was mean or hurtful? I'm guessing they probably have. How does that make you feel? I'm sure it makes you feel sad and angry, right? You might even want to say something back at them, or maybe maybe you want to do something that's hurtful to the other person just to get even with them. Well, here's the thing. Jesus knows what it feels like to have people say hurtful things to him. Jesus' enemies arrested him and put him on trial, and that happened just the day before Jesus died. And I want to I got a picture here. I want to show it to you, okay? I'll try to hold it up so you can see it really well. But here's a picture that shows Jesus on trial. And here he is standing before the high priest and what was called the, the Jewish council, okay? And they were, they were questioning him. Since Jesus had never done anything wrong, they had to try to find people to tell lies about Jesus. They slapped Jesus in the face. Ouch, that would hurt. And then they spit on him. Yuck, that's terrible. They made fun of Jesus and they laughed at him. How do you think that made Jesus feel? Was he sad? Was he angry? Well, finally, Jesus' enemies asked him if he was really the son of God. And of course, Jesus said he was. It was the truth. Jesus was and still is is the Son of God. But that made his enemies angry. They didn't believe in Jesus. They said that he was lying and that he deserved to die. Can you imagine? We believe in Jesus. We know that Jesus is the Savior of the world. He is the mighty and powerful Son of God. But Jesus didn't use his almighty power to hurt the people who hurt him. No, he didn't. It was God's plan that Jesus should die on the cross so that the people who were hurting him could be forgiven. Isn't that great? In other words, Jesus died for them, and he died for you and me. Jesus rose from the dead, and everyone who believes in him has the forgiveness of sins and eternal life. Eternal life means it never stops. It never ends. And that's going to be when we're living with him in heaven. And how wonderful that's going to be. That's going to be better than our best day on this earth. Better than Disneyland or Disney World. How about that? Huh? We believe in Jesus and we trust in him as our Savior. The mighty power of his love is at work in each one of us. When people are unkind to us, or if they say hurtful things to us, we want to be able to answer them in a loving way, just like Jesus did. We want to be able to forgive them, just as Jesus forgives us. We want to be able to show people, even hurtful people, the love of Jesus through our words and our actions. And that is even includes our brothers and sisters, huh? I know what it's like to have brothers and sisters. And sometimes when we're kind of cooped up in the house, we can sort of get on each other's nerves, huh? And sometimes we can get in each other's ways. Well, Jesus wants us to be very, very loving towards others because he loved us and he died for us and gave his life for us. And he rose from the dead, and we're going to celebrate that on Easter in just a couple of days. How about that? It's going to be a wonderful time. All right. 
Well, let's close right now, shall we? Let's ask Jesus to help us to show his love to others. Let's say a prayer together. And I want you to fold your hands and sort of bow your heads and close your eyes. And we'll pray, shall we? Let's do that now. Dear Jesus, your enemies hurt you and they condemned you to death. But you died on the cross for their sins and for our sins. And that makes us so happy, Jesus. Help us to show your love to others in the way that we talk and act. Especially, Jesus, to show your love to our brothers and sisters, our moms and dads, and all of our family and friends. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, thanks, boys and girls. Thanks for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you real soon, okay? You just hang in there, and this whole coronavirus is going to be over before we know it, and we'll be back together again. Okay, God be with you. Have a great day, and have a wonderful Holy Week. Bye now. Bye.